while driving a car the gps system's human voice guides you to your destination virtual assistants alexa and siri answer a wide range of questions play music and control smart home devices in the entertainment industry special effects turn ordinary mortals into super beings on the or superheroes on the screen fake war scenes and action sequences appear genuine enough to keep audiences riveted to their seats a uh, politicians 3d holograms appear in several places simultaneously during election campaigns fake narratives and doctored images cause violence and polarization which result in death destruction and misery this is the power of artificial intelligence indeed artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm but there are conflicting opinions on its positive and negative effects on the world to see things in perspective let us take a brief look at its history ai or artificial intelligence has been around for decades in 1932 Georges Atsuruni created a device that he called a mechanical brain. It could translate languages. He patented it in France in 1933. Of course, uh, its translation capabilities were very much limited. In 1937, he built its more advanced version. Artificial intelligence differs from generative artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence analyzes data and provides conclusions or results which help in decision making. For example, it can detect frauds by detecting patterns, evaluate and classify data relating to a crime. On the other hand, generative artificial intelligence helps produce new content, chat responses, designs synthetic data and shallow as well as deep fakes in 1957 linguist noam chomsky published synthetic structures it's a very slim volume that explained the parsing and generating natural language sentences this slim volume had a major impact on the study of knowledge mind and mental processes and became a milestone in the development of cognitive sciences in 1966 professor joseph wiesenbaum of the mit created a chatbot named eliza it simulated conversations with a psychotherapist however it had several shortcomings such as a limited vocabulary lack of context and over reliance on patterns etc in 1968 professor terry allen winograd created the first ever multimodal ai that could understand natural languages the program accepted commands such as find a block which is taller than the one you are holding and put it into the box the program could also respond verbally for example it could say i do not know which block you mean in 1980 michael toy and glen wichman developed a unix based game called rogue which dynamically generated new game levels later john lane joined them to create a commercial version of this game and it was quite successful in 1985 judia pearl developed bayesian networks to define complex probability problems this revolutionized artificial intelligence making it an important tool in natural sciences and engineering in 1986 michael irwin jordan laid the foundation of recurrent neural networks this helped perform such complex work as language translation natural language processing speech recognition and image captioning popular applications such as siri voice search and google translate are 
cogent or relevant examples of this. In 1989, Jan Likun, Joshua Bengio and Patrick Hefner demonstrated how convolutional neural networks or CNN can be used for recognizing objects with gradient-based learning. These networks help recognize multiple objects with without requiring explicit segmentation of the objects from their surroundings. Later, they developed graph transformer network model, which extended the applicability of gradient-based learning to systems that use graphs to represent features, objects, and their combinations. In 2006, data scientist Fei Fei Li came up with the idea of ImageNet at the University of Illinois. Most AI researchers thought algorithms were more important than the data itself. However, Lee proved that vast amounts of real-world data would make algorithms more accurate. Today, thanks to powerful graphic cards and computers, deep learning seems the most promising for several applications, including voice or image recognition. Experiments conducted at Microsoft, Google's, and IBM show that this type of learning halved the error rate for speech recognition. It enabled considerable progress in text recognition. Chat GPT, DAL E, and BART can produce a wide spectrum of content ranging from poetry to art and medical reports and related activities. It has become possible to automate writing of content and respond to specific technical queries. Creation of realistic representations of people and objects has become workable. Artificial intelligence can provide coherence to complex data and narratives. In fact, the role of AI in everyday human activities has just begun. It is bound to expand and enter the world of creativity or entertainment, science, technology, industrial production, business, travel, etc, etc, etc in a big way, thus creating unimaginable problems around the world. And what could these problems be? You must have heard about deep fake and already the AI driven deep fake has demonstrated dangers of its unrestrained use. There have been many instances of faces of celebrities replacing actual actors in pornographic movies. Doctored videos of politicians for malicious use have become quite common. Since fake audiovisuals of real persons can be created, the potential for serious mischief has become dangerously deep. International incidents between two, any two countries which are at war or at loggerheads can be triggered with the help of fake alarms. The bombing of Pentagon is a telling instance. This happened recently and it created quite a bit of stir. There are other problems too. These may not appear to be as destructive and dangerous, but can harm the society immensely. Plagiarism of art and literature is increasing. In January 2023, three popular art generating platforms, DreamUp, Midjourney, and Stable faced copyright charges from US artists. A platform named Stability AI had to face a lawsuit from Getty Images for plagiarizing millions of images from its stock collection. Authors of research papers, non-fiction and fiction works feel threatened by AI-driven platforms like ChatGPT, GPT-4, etc. When original and AI-generated content can be similar and AI platforms can copy anything, there is an urgent need for putting a strong legal structure in place for preventing firms from using the work of writers, artists, singers to train their AI models without the 
creator's consent copyright and patents have to be made more strict the, the laws relating to copyrights and patents the demand for regulating the use of original and copyrighted content by generative ai platforms is rising all over the world the solution lies in ai itself significant progress has been made to identify fake videos artificial intelligence already helps to spot fake videos and image based disinformation attempts india's alt news has done a commendable job in this respect detection systems are being further developed to flag fakes wherever they appear and whenever they appear a blockchain online ledger system could hold a tamper proof record of videos pictures and audio so their origins and manipulations can be checked on the regulatory front the european union is reportedly taking steps to come up with comprehensive laws and regulations for reigning in the untrammeled infringement of patents and copyrights india has been slow but surely it will have to put its act together no creation of artificial intelligence will ever overwhelm human genius on a lighter note recently in the indian state of telangana aspiring civil servants used chat gpt to pass the exams according to a report by times of india an aspirant used chat gpt to answer the leaked question papers for the assistant executive engineer and divisional accounts officer exams with the aid of bluetooth earbuds he discreetly transmitted the answers to fellow aspirants during the examination well ai cannot match the human ingenuity that's all for today i'll come back again thank you